Hello, Grace Fellowship at Reedsville. We're uh, so glad to be able to greet you, although I say we, it's just me. Uh, Jay Weaver here greeting you from Asheville. We're in North Carolina for my wife Beth's uh, 50th high school reunion, graduating class from Bendlepin School. Uh, and to meet the deadline to get this in today, she's already into where we'll be meeting up with folks this evening. Beth remembers that it was 1971 or 72 that she first came to Reedsville in the Ben Lippin School Choir. And uh, it was a long time ago and began uh, our relationship with you. Uh, then we didn't know that it would lead to uh, us being married and having missionary support from you for so long. Well, here's a bit of a report. Many of you are concerned about my open heart surgery that I had in April. Praise God, I'm doing well. Uh, that was done on mid-April, and I'm fully through with recovery, although they say you don't feel completely recovered until a year afterwards, but listen, I wouldn't know that I had a problem. Uh, I actually didn't know I had a problem beforehand, but I had severe regurgitation, and that was remedied. I've been through rehab, working out at the gym. That's a good thing. I'm doing more of that now, and I'm grateful. Uh, family news, we have our youngest daughter, Marjorie, and her uh, two little girls and husband, Matt, that have moved to Lancaster, our hometown there in Pennsylvania, and uh, that's after 10 years in church planting north of, of Philadelphia. Matt's still employed by uh, his mission agency, but he does that uh, from a uh, distance. We have um, Calvary Church uh, is our church home there in Lancaster, and I serve as the vice chair of the elders there now, and we're pretty excited about a, an outreach effort that we're considering putting a, an outreach center in the city of Lancaster because we've attracted so many refugees, that is we, our population has attracted so many refugees from around the world, and this would be a way to minister more directly to them. So of course my missionary heart uh, leans into that and is an encouragement to that. Sorry for the, uh, the background noise here, but it's, it's what I can do. Hopefully you enjoy some of the, the colored leaves. You, I'm sure, have them uh, in Reedsville as well right now. I just got back from a, a trip to Cambodia. Uh, it was my first time in a couple of years to be with all of our global leaders in World Team all in one place. Uh, several key things coming out of that. I'm facilitating a few working groups uh, that emanated out of that. We also are looking at how we can focus on still more urgency uh, in our ministry because we need more willing workers for many places around the world. Uh, that just need the kind of, of ministry we can we can uh, hold out there. Two key places that are much concerned to Beth and me are at Chad and Bangladesh. Uh, Chad, we're focusing on a an, very unreached Muslim people group there in the central part of the country, although Chad's attracted missionaries for many years. Not so among the 24 unreached people groups in the center of the country, predominantly Muslim. So thank you for praying uh, for workers for that. And in Bangladesh right now, we have a, there's a team uh, from a church in, uh, in the Northeast, as well as some of our key world team workers are in Bangladesh right now on a 10-day trip uh, to investigate ways that we could plug into ministry there. We have a sister mission that would be happy to have us partner with them to get started and then uh, to have our own ministry there eventually. A bit of curiosity might be of interest to you. I took the longest flight in the world. 18 hours, 50 minutes in order to get to Cambodia. That was from uh, uh, New York City, uh, JFK, to Singapore, and then onward to, uh, to Cambodia. Uh, here's an interesting thing you might be interested in with Beth. Beth's enjoyed Bible memory since she was uh, a child, but recently that has been uh, hyped up a, a whole lot more, and she's doing whole books of the Bible. And if you go to warriorsoftheword.org, you'll even find her in, um, in a trailer for a, a video training a seminar that goes with a book that she's been privileged to be part of uh, there in recent months. Uh, that's about all for us now. Uh, we want to thank you for standing with us. It's such a, such a privilege to be part of your, uh, shall we say, global ministry staff around the world, and we seek to steward that responsibility well. And we wish you the best for your 53rd uh, annual missions conference coming up. I uh, wish we could be there, but that's not something uh, that we do every year. But we've been here in North Carolina. We still love you and send our greetings. Bye-bye for now.